Okay, one of the first things we need to do when building the swap saw is cut the plywood back panels. As you can see here, I have a piece of uh, hardwood plywood that's pre-finished. Um, fairly nice stuff. I'm going to use this saw for uh, marketing. So, I'm going to make it look as nice as possible. And we're going to have to cut across this plywood on the diagonal. We measure 39 and a half inches from this corner over to here and the same from that corner over to there. This is the piece of unistrut that we use for the uh, upper and lower struts, which are up here on the panel saw. There's the upper strut, the lower strut's down at the bottom, you can't see it. We need 10 feet, and this is a 10 foot piece. Um, so we're gonna use that as our straight edge to guide the uh, circular saw as we make this cut. Don't forget to wear your safety glasses. Now, come in a little closer with the camera. This circular saw has a plywood blade on it, 56 teeth, carbide. It leaves a very fine cut, almost no tear out. If you have a framing blade on there, something like 40 teeth or even 35 teeth, it will rip it to shreds. You'll have splinters coming off the edge all over the place. We're going to set the blade on this so it's just the depth of the plywood. So I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to set the depth of the blade so it is just barely deep enough to go through the plywood and a little bit over. Okay, and with that, we'll go ahead and cut. Okay, we're going to measure from the corner, 39 and a half inches over. Thirty-nine and a half inches here. Do the same on the other side. Measure from there, and thirty-nine and a half inches. And we mark that right here. Okay. One more thing we need to find out about this saw is how far this saw blade is from this edge, because that will be determine where we set the straight edge to guide the saw. So we're going to take this, put that right up there, and it is one and three eighths inches. So we'll have to offset the unistrut one and three eight inches, eight inches from the line we just put down. Okay, we have the plywood in here. Straight edge is set very close to where we need it. I'll just tighten this down. We'll do the same at the other end. To double check this, it's one and three eighths from that line to the straight edge. Not in this direction, but perpendicular to this surface. In that direction, not that direction. Got the straight edge in place. Can now come in and clamp it in position. Then we'll go and double check our measurement on this. You want to make sure that handle's out of the way of the saw when it comes. The next step is to take these two panels and cut them off 85 inches from the bottom. So we come up here and put a mark at 85 inches. 85 inches. Okay. 
We're going to radius the corners, and a can of WD-40 makes a really good radius tool. You just put it down here on the corner, line it up. And we mark it. Do that on all four corners. Okay. Oh, well. 